Yo, what is good? Back with another video for you guys on the channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing a little tips and tricks video. Let's just dive right into the segments of this video. Number one is IGL. Number two is, there's two roles in duos, okay? So we have the IGL and we have the fragger. The IGL, if you guys don't know, is the player on the duo that calls the rotates, leads the rotates, and just leads and calls. That's it. To be honest, that's it. It's the in-game leader is the IGL, right? The fragger, on the other hand, is the player following your IGL and fragging out. So let me start off with the IGL segment. This is what IGL is. I'm the IGL in my duo. I, if you guys don't know, I play with Agers, and me and him, we did win the most recent grand finals, right? For IGLing, it's hard. It's hard. It's not something you can do easily. It's not something you know how to do. There's multiple, a lot of things going into IGLing. Step one into IGLing is making sure, this is the number one rule that people always do, never ever do. It's be confident, man. Be confident in yourself. Be confident in your calls. Don't hesitate calls. Don't think it's a little iffy. Because listen, everybody makes a mistake. It's not something that happens once here, once there. Everybody, bro, it happens all the time. And even the top of the top players, even Booga makes mistakes, okay? It doesn't matter what happens. Just make sure that you're confident with your calls. Because if you're hesitant, that does not make a strong IGL. Rule number two, when you're IGLing, you need to be thinking of what you, your duo is going to do next. Or what's going to happen or where you want to go. Because if you don't have a plan in mind of where you want to rotate or how you're going to do things, you're, you're stuck because your fragger is depending is depending on you, right? But if you're stuck without a plan, not knowing what you're going to do, you're going to get held back zone and you're going to end up just dying. Make sure you're number one, confident, and number two, having a plan in mind for everything. Also, there's different types of IGLing. Right. There's a player when you're IGLing is when you're very micromanaging. You can micro, you need to micromanage your player. That's just how you are. So basically, your fragger is like your little puppy. You have him on a leash. He's on you. He follows you around. And you want to make sure that you either micromanage him. If he tunnel visions, tunnel visioning. Let me go into this first. Tunnel visioning is something that everybody struggles with. Every player in the game struggles with. It's when you literally everything. That's your teammate says, it's out of here. You don't even listen. You're not even listening. You're just focused. You're just so focused on something. It's like your tunnel, like you're the only vision you see is towards what you see in front of you. Nothing else, right? With that explanation, what I'm trying to say is tunnel visioning is something you do not want to get caught in, right? Your teammate, you have him on your leash. You want to follow around. You want him on you. When you're calling, you want him to follow you around without making any stupid plays. And if you call something, you want him to be on you. And as an IGL, that is the best thing that your fragger can do. Because you need to have somebody listening, following you, thinking about every, or just listen. They don't even need to think. The thing with the fraggers, they don't even need to think. They just need to listen. Those are basically my three steps as of now, right? It's confidence, leading, and planning ahead. And third, never tunnel vision. This is your, the third rule is like for both players. It's not just IGLing or fragging. It's for both players. So micromanaging, as me, I am a IGL that loves to micromanage my players. I say, come here, do this, we're doing this, we're doing this. I'm always calming, making sure my teammate knows what I want to do next. That is like micromanaging, making sure he's on you. You're like, are you on me? This and that. You have to always ask questions, this and that, making sure he's on you micromanaging, knowing where he's at, telling him what to do. But that's what I believe makes a stronger IGL. Because as an IGL that doesn't micromanage, it's like there's not a lot of talking happening, right? The fraggers listen to you, you're just like, follow me. And that's it. Like, there's nothing, there's no saying, yo, yo, are you on me? Making sure, yo, don't tunnel vision. Like, it is making sure your teammate is on you at all times, to be honest. Like, and not tunnel visioning in the back tarp or in during mid-game anything. So let's watch a clip here of my grand finals. I have a clip here showing my, this was the first game of grands. And just listen to my comms, okay? Am I box? Hunter? Dad, dad, I killed him. Chill, chill. So I kill a kid. And Adrius didn't even touch this guy, right? And guess what I say immediately? Chill, chill. Because I don't want him running in. I don't want him making a play. I don't want him throwing my game. I want him to just calm down and we take it slow. I'm here, take it slow, take it slow. Take it slow, take it slow. That's me micromanaging. That's incredible micromanaging out of me. Because let's say I was dead quiet. I just said dead on me. And let's say, let's say I didn't say anything. And then Andrew just jumps in or something, makes a solo play and gets himself killed. That would be a very bad outcome. 
in my opinion, I like telling my teammates what's happening. And this, this is what I think makes an incredible strong ideal is making sure even at any situation in the game, I know exactly what I'm going to do and how I'm going to execute things. He's going to edit. He's going to edit. Get the loot. Get the loot. I say get the loot. Do not go for it. Okay. I say get the loot. Just chill. We don't need that. Why, why would we ever push that kill when I just got one? Right. I got a refresh. This is the refresh I needed. So I'm gonna take this match and rotate to the half and half. Okay. You go out. You go down. You go out. You go down. Look at me instantly finding a new rotation and having a plan on the spot. That's also another thing with IGLing. You need to make sure of a of a plan and finding a way to get into the next zone like this. You need to be thinking fast. You can't hesitate. You see? Did I hesitate a single second there? No. I instantly thought. And we need to go. And guess what we did? Thought, Corner going, ahead, running, running, ahead, break. running ahead, break. Run, I know exactly where to go. I see a play. You, need to, you like, see how I'm calming every single thing I'm doing. I'm mantling up. I'm going up left. Get to me, please. I'm building, right? I'm building. I made you a box. I made you a box. You made you a box. Here. We're here. Here. You see how I'm saying all these words so I make it sure that he's on me and we're stacked and we can do well this game, right? So I say don't get jumped. We have an edit open here, okay? We're looking for kills back, but I block our right knowing that if anything Coming happens, out. a team can't fry us from the right side, right? So I have, I just did so many things in this, in this most short amount of time as the IGO. What has Aether said? Nothing. He said, okay, I'm coming, I'm here, that's it. Nothing else, I don't wanna hear anything. I'm the one doing all the talking, I'm the one all doing all the thinking, and that's it. One HP! Spray this, bro. Let's go back, we need to go, we need to go. Slap. Perfect. Insta pull, max. You see how it, I didn't even tunnel vision, I said spray this, but right when the zone pull, and I saw it pull max, Popped in my head, we need to go ahead. Why would I sit back here, tunnel visioning, back here for this kill? Even, he could be dead one HP with five, five, five mats and five slurps inside that box, but it does not matter because I need to get ahead and make sure I do well this game, right? Come, come right, on our top, watch out. Watch you see, I'm calming everything. Come right, top, watch your top, we need to go. I just hit this kid 120 and Aedra's just 40 white. I say jump this kid. Right? Yeah. Jump this kid. I'm it's, I know it's a solo from earlier, from the kill I got from the start. I say jump this kid. Jump him in. Come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. Kill. kill this guy. We need to run now. We gotta stop fucking throwing. Come. Come, come right. You see how I'm saying? We gotta stop throwing, which is basically staying back and getting held. I wanna get us ahead, making sure we're doing well in the front, right? Come up right, come up right, come up right. Notice how I'm speaking every little thing I'm doing. So my teammate knows exactly what's happening. And this is what makes a strong IGL. If I'm dead quiet, not speaking, not knowing what's happening or telling my teammate what I'm doing, he does not know what's happening. He can just, he only sees me running, but he doesn't know where I wanna go. So I'm just calming everything I'm doing. Are you good? Okay, you need to go, you just need to get ahead. We need to get ahead. So one thing I did really poorly this game was drop low ground here. Because if I got on the hill, even if it pulls back up the hill, I would be in a good position. But if I was below here and it pulls back, I would be in a bad position. Do you get what I'm saying? So it would have been better to play up. But in the moment, this is a perfect example of confidence. I knew I had no hesitation. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And I did it. It doesn't matter. There's always people that make mistakes. It doesn't matter. Okay. Playing low ground. We're playing low ground. Yeah. I say to my teammate, we're playing low ground. Get to me. We're fucking vibing down here. I need you on me. I'm you see, Ayer, has Ayers even said anything important yet? I'm here. I'm on you. I'm coming. That's all I hear. What am I saying? Everything. Leading us. That's what the ideal has to do. I'm gonna have zero four now. Wait, yeah. jump in on your back. Go no, jump again. Go, so he said he calms jumping in. It's a really good calm. Because guess what I do? I say calm down. Do not fight. And we need to make space. Get up. Back, back up. Back up. Go up. 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 Now. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why I'm yelling here is because we're in a grand finals. Number one, I'm in a grand finals. And number two, I want to make sure my teammate doesn't tunnel vision. Because even if I say get up, and let's say he sees a, a way to kill this guy, he could easily tunnel vision on the kill but I need to make sure we get out. So I tell him up, up multiple times so he stops on vision and he gets to me. We're jumping in, jumping in, jumping in, jumping in. Jumping in straight. Like, what's this? So what? No, straight right here, one HP. So what happened here, we're looking at two different things and this is something that every duo needs to work on. Right? This, is a, this is a perfect example of tunnel visioning. I'm looking down here, he's looking somewhere else. We're not looking together. 
when you look together, you have a higher chance of getting a kill. But if you're looking separate, there's where the problem occurs. Like I just fried this guy below for a hundred something, but I stopped tunnel vision because he says above. I look and there's absolutely nothing, right? But I'm like, bro, look, look down. I fried him. Under? No, kill the scene. Look at this, he's dead. Let me slot, slurp. When you go now, stop, stop, stop. Get the body, get the body. I said to get up, follow him. Yeah, you need to be careful for your body. One point. And Ager starts getting in a fight back zone. This is something that was, I don't know, it was a tunnel vision, but this is something like, this This happens. It happens. It happens to players, people tunnel vision in the back, but that's what I do. If my teammate dies, I'm not gonna go help. I'm not gonna go sacrifice my life to help him. I'm gonna go and play the game out because I know I'm, I need to get ahead. I'm so running in. Get max, get max, get max. I'm on yeah, yeah, yeah. Just run, just run, just park, park. So I'm calming the entire time, asking him what he's doing because he's not talking. So I need to make sure what to know what he's doing. I, I'm telling him to talk because yep. I have nothing. I need to right. like, 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 up here. Okay, okay, we need to run ahead. Just run. Just I run. said to run, run ahead. ahead. I'm six spells. I'm six spells. I'm on box here on my wall. I say on my wall here, okay? So immediately, you need to make sure that my if my teammate was looking at I said 100. Back, back, back. He jumps in. And Adrian's edits a wall behind guys, and then I die. So. Right there, Agers was looking somewhere else when I said on my wall and I got fried. Like, we were not looking together. Another instance of not looking together right there. That was a big problem. That's something every duel has something different. Like, let's say you need to be versatile. Like, let's say I'm I'm looking at something, look with me. If Agers looking at something, I'm looking with him. It's whoever calls first, right? It's whoever really calls first on what's happening. So that was a perfect game, right? Of showing what an IGL should be doing. Now let's go into frag. Let's go, let, let me explain what a fragger should do. For a fragger, as you guys know, I've been an IGL and a fragger. I used to be fragging in trios, back in trio and CS, and I turned into an IGL into duos, thinking that I was smarter than everyone else. As the fragger, these are the three rules as a fragger. Listen, don't tunnel vision, and follow. These are three simple rules, simple, simple rules as a fragger. Right here, as we saw, I looked down here. It's running low ground in the open? Yeah, yeah. low ground in the open, we're looking. They're jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping Wait, and spraying. Solo, solo here. He was looking with me. I was fr I'm calling it and he turned. This is something that you shouldn't do as a frag. The only thing he should either be doing here, there's two things in this situation. It's either look down with me or block this off. Block this off, this in front of me with walls so I don't get fried because I'm edited open there, right? So he's looking right up. Here. What is I said, but he we would have killed this guy together, but he looked around, he looked away. So that's something you shouldn't do as a fragger, but it's good because people make mistakes, shit happens, it doesn't matter. Okay, everyone has a mistake, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna edit down and kill this team. Look. I said I'm gonna kill this team. Up, no, no, kill this team. Look at this. See, perfect. He's listening to me. I say I'm gonna kill this team. When you get this, he's fully listening to me. Even though he might think it's a bad play, he's still listening to me. Alright. Okay, okay, you need to be okay, careful okay. Here, he starts shooting this kid and going for a kill. This is something that you shouldn't do right here because this is a tunnel vision. Your first instinct here is to follow your teammate, right? When he's right as your eye as a fragger, your your IGL is running ahead. You want to follow because if you're fighting back zone, you're gonna get held and you're gonna get griefed. And guess what ends up happening? He sits here, ends up getting griefed, and he needs to run out. He kills him, but look how far he is in zone, so behind. Loot right there, and he doesn't see it. But he couldn't even get this loot. Right you can even get that, it's fine, whatever. He should get in, just follow. Fraggers make mistakes. There's no there's no problem in making mistakes. Everyone makes a mistake. That's something you guys need to learn. So I tell him to get to me. He finally gets to me. Just run, just run, just park, park, park. Go, 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 So like, I need to pop the Take my take my Okay, okay, we need to run ahead, just run. I said run ahead, perfect. Following me, everything. And this is something super important as both players. I want both players knowing what your HP is. This is something I see all the time and it, and, it, and it literally triggers me. When you don't know what your teammate's HP is, when your teammate's low, if you have heals for him, if you can do something, you need to be looking at your teammate's HP at all times, at all times. And you just glance, look back, glance, look back for both players, I do and frag. Back, back, he yeah. looks back and this guy jumps in, I kill one. I'm dead. And I could have killed both. Top seven, that's a good game. 
but he was looked he looked away for a second. You know what I'm saying? Anything could happen in a split second in Fortnite. But as the fragger, you want to be with your IGL, looking with your IGL. Or it's fine to look back, but there was I got hit right here, right? I got I got hit instantly. If he looked at my HP, he would probably think that they would probably jump in. It's just splits decision making in seconds, right? He turns around, I get hit, and he jumps in and he dies. As we've seen from that game, IGLing and fragging, we've learned a lot. We've learned so much. IGL do not tunnel vision for both players. Both players need to be looking at HPs. Both players need to be making sure that looking at the same spot, you need to be looking together. Okay. And for final, as a fragger, you want to make sure that you follow, listen, and not tunnel vision. Boom, that's it. It's so, it's so simple. It's so simple. And players take it so much harder than it actually is, right?